This Living Together Agreement template is completely free. Uh, it gives you access to the Advice Now Charity template which is a fantastic resource. It lays it all out. Um, it's an agreement that can be turned into a legal document and it gives you many of the areas that you will need to cover. Um, you also have a great set of notes in that. I have added quite a bit into the pack on top of that which is also at no cost to you. Um, this is because I feel very strongly that just sitting down and looking at the what if scenarios um, it's not something that I would get excited about. It's very sensible and we do need to do it, especially if we're not legally married. In fact, it's, it's almost insane not to do it. And I know that from personal experience. But why shouldn't this be an empowering, exciting and an enjoyable experience? And that's my belief. So I've created a, a pack that takes you on a journey where you create a, a real vision for your future, um, which also brings out all the practical aspects that you need to cover for a living together agreement and I've created also a whole set of videos that you can access unfortunately um, you do need to pay for those uh, but you'll you'll have um, a link to do that so that you'll see on this page but if you just want the free version that's absolutely fine you've got all the key information take you on a journey on how to do it um, not just efficiently and, and and it should be done quite quickly the bit that will take time is gathering in the information but I can save you so much time with that because you have got access direct access to a directory of experts who will give you free no obligation uh, no cost conversations about, uh, about how they could help you M much of the financial advice won't cost you anything to talk to those experts anyway some of the other experts, you know, their time is expensive, but um, they will give you a no, no obligation conversation for free, uh, which you can have on the phone, sometimes on Skype, um, and then you will know whether or not you need to use them. And if there are any extra costs that you need to, in order to get information in, and for example, you may uh, need to update your will as part of this whole process, you might need to create um, a tenants in common uh, ag agreement because you actually share a property um, when you start to realize how little rights you have by not being married you will see that these are, are very important steps that, that sensible people will take but there is a cost obviously for the legal side but it is it's minimal um, if you do it all together if you create your living together agreement any updating of uh, possibly also updating of the wills uh, if you want to use the same same uh, legal legal firm and you've got the um, the, any tenancy in common agreement perhaps that you might be creating uh, by bundling it up together you're going to reduce costs and also you're going to make sure that all the information in each uh, corresponds <laughs> so I really would uh, recommend that you do all of that together so there will be some legal costs and, and having independent legal advice as well is very important once you've created the agreement but it's you know it's not uh, it's not a huge amount of money, um, and these are things that you should be doing anyway, to be honest. But the actual the real costs involved um, are of creating this, and more just the the time and energy that you put into it. And as I've said, I've minimised that by giving you some very good people to talk to, um, get access to, and um, making this, this this the whole process process hopefully very very thorough, extremely thorough but one that doesn't need to take you very long at all. And um, I wish you much luck with it. I'm very, very glad that you're going to be downloading this and protecting not just your own um, relationship with each other in a way, because by having honest conversations that are structured with access to any third party support or help that you might need, this is going to be a good thing for your relationship. It's going to encourage transparency, it's going to help you feel more confident about the future and um, it's a good good thing to be doing. It's also very important if you have children or you're planning on having children because it protects them uh, as well. And, um, and certainly that's the thing that I will never forget when I literally overnight found myself on my own after 10 years with my children's uh, father Overnight, uh, the relationship was ended. I had three very young children. I had no rights to his pension after 10 years and had none of my own. Uh, my career had more or less disappeared because I was looking after three young children. I had um, 
no maintenance rights, he, he provided for the children, but there was nothing for me to cover the cost of the fact that I was having to look after the children and couldn't just go out and get an amazing career and dedicate myself to that. So you don't get maintenance, um, you're not paid to be a mother, to put it bluntly, and uh, so it's, it's, uh, it's very different from, from when, you, when you've been married legally. So I don't want anyone else to feel as stupid as I did at that point. I felt, and I've always been honest about it, I felt really stupid. Um, I, I even knew that I didn't have those rights, which is quite unusual, most people don't realise. Um, and I just was so naive, I thought, oh, love and trust and faith, but I didn't realise that you know, as we grow, uh, you know, I have a very good relationship with my kid's dad now, but you know, life changes as things happen, um, uh, and life does these things so we can grow. And, and change, but that's not fair to put the children through that uh, unnecessarily. They were effectively at that point about a home was being sold for debts I didn't know we had. Um, I was terrified about how I was going to support them, look after them. Um, in the end, their father has been fantastic and he has uh, supported them and been supported to us, supportive to us emotionally. We've had our ups and downs, uh, but it's brilliant now, and uh, and I'm very grateful for that. But I really would, uh, I always, in fact, encourage anyone who doesn't want to get legally married, who's thinking of and having a fa or having a family, get a living together agreement in place. It's a healthy, empowering process. It will protect your children, it will protect your partner as well, because if something happens to you, um, everything goes to your next of kin, not to your partner, unless you've, you've specified. So um, you need to um, uh, you need to put it all down in writing, you need to talk about it. And this pack will help you do it fairly quickly, um, thoroughly, and I think you'll enjoy the process.